guys how you doing my name is bola jakungbe i am a graphic designer <clears throat> sorry um i'll be your coach for this um for this class and the app we'll be using is um pixel app as i have said in the flyer before so um the first um objective we are going to tackle today is um pixel app i mean why is it pixel app why are we using pixel app why is it that it's pixel lab we are using to design not other uh, software or other app to design we have a photo PA, we have canva we have a lot of them like that so we have type programmer so <clears throat> pixel lab uh, the excess of using pixel lab is that um pixel lab is free you don't need to own your phone data your data connection before you use pixel lab that's one of the advantages of pixel lab and um pixel lab provides um good uh, quality when you finish your work that's one thing about it so it's, a, it's an app that you can bring you, you, you can bring in your own fonts and add it to the platform i mean to the app and then you use it as well so i'll be diving into pixel lab now if you don't have it you can <coughs> sorry you can install it um, from play store and if you have it already if you have it downloaded already no problem so i will click on pixel lab now So I was working before. Let me just cancel it. So when you get to Pixel App, the first thing and the first thing is that you want to, you want to work, which will be tackling in the um in the third objective is that um you need to change the size of the work that you want to do. We are not going to do that now because we we'll still talk about it later. So what I just want to show you guys um the the um, the, the features around Pixel Lab. The reason why we have to use Pixel Lab for this um uh, for this particular um. Uh, class so i have said you don't need to own the, you don't see, <coughs> you don't need to own your data for this so now um, you can see this uh this part this is my project this um downward um this left corner you can see my project these are the work that i was doing before i've done all this on pixel lab all this work here so i don't need to go there so now on pixel lab pixel lab will come up like this it's come up like this you need test and if you want to delete um this and start a new work, you just come up to this uh yeah you, you, you make sure that this test is highlighted like it's showing a uh, box around it like this and this box is for um increasing this particular blue one that is showing and this one is for um adjusting by by adjusting it by the side so you want to um delete this thing and start your own work you just have to click on this icon here look at your top right corner top uh, top left corner rather under the plus sign you, you can see the delete box there delete cycle just click on it it will go okay you can see nothing is there anymore so now uh this particular um stuff here this plus is for taking uh taking work from your phone it's not to set as background we look at all this icon you want to take any work from your phone let's say you want to take um picture from your gallery what you've downloaded and what to set it as background you will take it from gallery you can see draw you can you, you can draw anything on this particular app shapes they have their own shapes everything on their platform that you can use they have stickers so i've not been using all this current date i don't know what it is because um the work i've been doing on it is, uh, is amazing so i don't explore everything like that you don't need to you don't need to explore everything before you actually bring out something good so and this is test as well so let's say i want to bring something from my gallery i'll just click on it it will go to my gallery so this is it <clears throat> sorry so these are the works that i've done on pixel lab so you see that it's showing pixel lab all these works that i've done them on pixel lab all these works i've deleted some of my phone i don't have some on my phone anymore let's say I've, okay i've selected this one now i'll just open it you see now I can change the size from here, the size that I want. You can if if you can see the, this red um icon under the lock button. You can you can if you if you adjust it, to, you know, I mean okay it's going so you can okay hey if you lock it you'll not be able to adjust it very well but if you unlock it you'll be able to adjust everything that you need to adjust. I don't need to adjust anything. I just want the normal size. Just click uh, the mark button so it will come up like this. Let's say you will just want to reduce it. Instead of you using and to reduce it, you get to where you will use um their own um selected button to I mean the selected button to increase and decrease all your sizes of your stuff. So this is it. Let's I just want to set this one as my uh as my background. 
just put it like that then enlarge it see now and no my hand will be shaking this thing now if i'm working let's say i want to use this one as background now my hand will be shaking like um to be moving it up and down i need to lock it so that my hand will not shift it anymore it's selected already i will just click on this layer that's looking like triangle or, or trapezium i don't know <laughs> just click on it like this and see lock button you see now it is locked already my hand is not shifting it anymore so now so that's that so let me just um remove this one i don't need it so now the second one here is that if you, if you have done any work and you want to save them you save it as image on your phone or you save as project it will be on pixel lab but it will not be saved to your phone that's the that's the relationship between that two and this one you want to share your work with anybody this this one you want to share your work with anybody you want to share it out so and this one is their codes you want to make use of their own platform codes to work on so you can use of you can use that as well this one this icon here it has a lot of things you can see use image from gallery the first one if you have to use image from gallery that means that the image you use from gallery will be set as a background let's say you use image from gallery now i'm just I'm, i like nike this thing <laughs> so you see now it should not be moved already it's not be moved at all i'm shifting it already I'm, I'm, my hand is moving on it but it's not move because i've already used image from gallery so and if i want to change that all this one that i showing under here the servers um the servers background as well if i click on this thing you see now it is changed to thing see you see hey do and i want i want to go back i want to go back to 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 the one i was using before i just need to you see this icon this cough icon in front of delete just click on it click on it okay okay hell it's not going back too much because we already used the first one as background so the next thing that we'll be looking at is this uh increase button this particular one it's not moving it's not moving okay don't mind that one don't mind that one but um we still need to okay let me change the background first let me change the background to default so this is default background so come back to default background and it, it will change delete your this is your test so this is the uh, grid once you know the adjustment the alignment of your work just click on the grid you can actually adjust it as well if you click here you'll be able to adjust it sorry if you click um if you click on this um this circle icon that's arrow just click on it you can turn it to let's say row um the row part which is um which is horizontal you see one one five and this one as well you want five just click okay to show five five for you but we don't need it again just click on it it will go so now this layer okay i've explained no we come back to this layer as well this three icon at the top right corner we are still explaining it the only two things that i used to do here is to use image from gallery the first one and then image size i don't touch others i'm telling you you don't need to touch all that before you work on pixel lab so you just you click on image size you see one two three four five the fifth one image size this way you will change the image size that you want to work on you can they have their own if you click this uh, custom you see the drop down you see they have a lot of things that you can work on for this are uh, the best size to work on you want to design all these um all this kind of um post uh, flyer for for posting online for posting online for image uh, for that you can use as profile picture on whatsapp the best one to use to use is profile picture square it's 1024 by 1024 you can see just click ok and if you are kind of person that do print on demand which you'll be still be looking at towards the end of the class you will use um just come to image size majorly we use um for amazon we use for 1200 by 4500 you can see oh sorry for 1200 for 500 by 5400 it's a mistake i'm sorry 5400 you can see the size has increased so that's that Let's just go back to normal size that we are. 1024 by 1024. 1024 by 1024. Just click OK. You see now we are back to the normal size. So that's that for the up icon. Let's now say I want to um I'm sorry, just checking up. So let's say that um I want to design um something. I just want to do um a normal uh, test. I just okay i've gone so far. i've gone so far so i just i just need to 
I just need to no, you can see just we are going down now. You can see the first uh the first um the first icon here we have alphabet letter A. Just click on it and see you see test coming up. You can see the code that we have here before up. So you can see it beside it. Just click on test. You click on test, it will bring out all this. So click on edit, then it will show you this particular page. Then you can type anything. Let's say you want to work on my name now, Bolajin Akongbin. Okay, okay. So now I don't say I know I was saying that I don't need to use my hand to shift this thing. I just need just scroll down, just scroll like this, scroll like this. You see size, click on size, you can use it to increase it. You can see instead of you using your hand to bring it down to shake it like this, just click on this, go to position. Position will do that for you. The essence of this line is that you want it to move faster, to move faster, but if you increase it, it's moving slow slow but if you just increase it a bit instead of you using your hand to adjust it like this you can even use the plus or minus sign to adjust and to decrease you see you see now you see now okay that's that now now i'm just using, i'm just working on default background i want to change my background i want to change my background now i want us to jump if you jump this particular beside this a you can see we have a, a kind of cycle something looking like um <laughs> Looking like it's solid shape, but we are moving to the third layer. Third layer, this layer, this particular one. Uh -huh. So I want to change my background. I just need to go to color. You can see we have gradient, we have color. Click on color. If you want to use gradient, that's where you use gradient. You use it to mix color together. So click on color. I work, I like working on black background as well. So click on that and click mark. You set your background. You want to change the background back. You want to change it, just go back to the same place. Click on background. Mm -hmm. And if you finish your work, want to export your work as transparent, you don't want background background to show, especially if you work on a on a on a, on a logo, just click transparent, transparent it will go, and you'll be able to download it. Click on the up icon and save as image or save as project. So that's that. But I want background to show, so just go back to this particular one and put black back. So now we are still on this particular alphabet A. You want to you want to delete this work? I can delete it. Just click on the delete. I want to go back to show me back. I can copy this instead of me using. I would like copy. I would like instead of me typing again, just click on copy icon to copy for you. But we don't need that. Mm -hmm. Delete. You see now, it's nothing is highlighted already. Just click on it. It will highlight again. Then you can see um, the essence of this padding. This padding is for uh, is for um, for expanding your work for you to have um. Uh, enough size by the two sides by the left and right side just click on padding you can see you see now the create space you see now you surely understand this thing we are working a lot on pixel lab so just click ok so if i want to change the color of my test let's say i want to change the color of my test i just click on this color the color of the test is different from the color of the background you can see that we have the color of the test under alphabet a and the color of the background we have it under color you see here you can see, you see green, you see white, you see yellow, you see black. So, but the color of the test, I, just, I, I purposely click on that. Just highlight your work first, then come to alphabet A, letter A rather, sorry. Then you we'll click on color. Color. Let's say I want to change the color of this test to green. You see now, it has changed. I want to change it to red. I like this green. So now, click OK. That's it. You can see texture. Texture is that if you want to mix this particular work with another color, you don't want to use this particular green color. Let's click on texture now. It will take me to my gallery. But I don't have a um, texture that I can use. Let's see. I want to use um, I want to use um this particular. Let's use this particular work as texture. Let me just let me just use the blue parts. You can see the way I just uh, drag it up. Let me just use the blue part. You see the essence of color. You see now it has changed it. See, you want to use uh, anything inside your inside your letter, inside your work. That's how to use texture. I don't want texture. Let me just delete it to come back to the normal way. So we have opacity to increase and to decrease um the color, the color um gradient to so just decrease it like this. So it's be fading away. If you increase it back, it will, it will become normal. So now, this one is to rotate. See now, to rotate up and down. Instead of using your hand to shift it, you can actually use 
this particular uh, plus or minus sign that's that we have mask um this is another even if i want to take class on this particular mask alone it's going to be like a, a long class it's kind of stressful but i hardly, I hardly use it so and um this is font beside mask this is a pixel font that came up that came with it and this is another my my own phone that i've downloaded on my phone and i've exported it to pixel you see i've deleted some this is not everything i've deleted some when i need a space on my phone let's say i just want to change the font of that bola jacobi to gula free you can see it has been changed i just want to increase the size I don't want to use a button. I just use my hand to increase it. You can see, but I just can't wait. So now, so we are um, beside our fonts. We have um, style. We have bold. We have italic, italic, and we have underline. If you want to remove all of this thing, you can just click on this. You want to use bold? Use bold. You want to remove it? Click on this. Click on the T cross. The T that has been crossed. After outside, you can see a line, a tiny line, outside. Okay. So. We want to utilize it you can see so i want to remove it i'll click on this you see now so now that's that about um this um this uh, style part i want to cover if you want to cover your work you can see you want to cover it up and that like going up and going down you see you see it's beautiful so um, we have the background you can actually add background particular background to your work to the text you are working on look at it background can be added to the front let's click on it click on white you see now you want to adjust it left padding you see now instead of excess of padding okay right padding and we have um top padding as well you see now you see we have a um, bottom padding as well so but we don't actually need that one let's just disable it okay so and we have alignment as well you can see you can see alignment you can see alignment here so we have um line spacing you don't need uh, the line spacing will not work here because it's just one line work and um we already covered it let me just straighten it back line spacing line spacing we we create space between bola jack and we you see now you see now it's extending if you want to adjust it it's not making it just like that so that's the essence of line spacing but this particular line spacing you can see the arrow is pointing up you don't need it here it should not work because we don't have long test so that's it. And we have stroke. I can create stroke around Bola Jacombe. Let's say Bola Jacombe. We have to create a white stroke around it. Just click enable color. White stroke. Just click on white stroke. The grain, is, you can see, you can see. It depends on how you want it. But let me just leave it like this. Let me just leave it at four. It's okay like that. You can use any other color. You can change the color. You can change the color. Just play around with it. It's fun. It's fun to play around with. So let's play. I want to use um stroke, but I'm not using it again <laughs> since we are still okay. Now let's say I want to use shadow as well. We have let me go back. Besides stroke, we have shadow. Then the shadow is that to bring out your work out. We have be like um, as if um, it's uh, it's not attached to the background. Let's say I want to use shadow. I want to use shadow. The opacity is there. It's too much. Okay. Let me just leave it a bit like this. Okay. Okay now. To move the uh, um <clears throat> to move the shadow around as if it has a, another uh, test at the background you can just offset x you see you want it to show very well i think it's the blur radius you see now you see now just bring it down you see but it's not making huh? let's say you want to offset to the y you see now to the down it's as if you are repeating a test so that's just that do you see now you can add glue it after glue rather sorry and you can you can fade it away to look somehow just play around with it just play around with it it's fun so that's that and beside that we have an inner shadow inner shadow has its own part too you see now it will fade the work away but majorly we don't actually i don't actually use an inner shadow since we have a shadow we have a normal shadow and we have stroke so emboss is just to change your work is to, um, to increase the quality of it somehow you see now you see now if i if i decrease the beef okay let's let me start from off light angle 
I can rotate the um, but before you uh, actually enjoy this light angle very well, you must have worked on these four particular work on this intensity ambient light, specular hardness, and bevel. So let's see this intensity to show very well. To show very well intensity, play and with it on you are able until until you are able to like satisfy yourself. You don't need to be perfect at this thing at once. Sure, you get it all start from somewhere. So just play around with it like this. You see, it's making it's, you can see that the, the test is making sense. It's making sense. So and just play around with this uh this light angle. Don't need that. So so just click on mark. You can see it's making sense. The thing is making sense. Uh, there are some work that I've done on this particular app and people are still arguing that I use system like I use laptop to work seriously I will show you all my works I will show you so now this perspective if you want to increase it like um up like this <laughs> it's fun you can see you can see you can see but we don't actually need it let me just um cancel it there are some things that you don't even touch on this particular uh, stock and you'll be fine with your work I'm telling you we have 3D rotation. We have 3D rotation. You see, you can turn it upside down. See now, <laughs> it can be fun sometimes. You can see it's like flipping around. You want to flip your work, just come to 3D rotation. You see now, and we have 3D shadow as well. You create shadow under the under the work. And so, and I don't want to waste our time. That's why I'm being fast now. We have reflection. This reflection, we have another bollard under it. You see now. You see now. It's reflecting. That's the essence of that reflection. So you can see the we are we are actually working on the A um on the letter A um icons, the features we have under it. So I'm just checking. I'm sorry. So so that's that. If you come if you are still working and you let's say you want to create shape under your work, just click on this like this. You no, know, this um letter A work. Just just, uh, just click, just come to the middle icon. This middle icon that looked like I was talking about like solid shape before. Just click on it. I like your work. Bring out this shape. You want to, you don't like, uh, let's say you want to another shape. You don't want to work on square. Just click on this icon beside the table. You see it. We have another one. You show. If you don't want this, click on it again. We have this. You can see. Just, expo just uh, explore around. Play around with it. It's fun. So, we've taken it now. You've taken it now. Okay, now let me show you something here. Yeah? Let me show you something here. Yeah? Let me use shape. Let me um square. Let's say I want to I just want the I don't want this white to show. I just want I don't want this white to show, but I want shape. I like frame. I like it to show white. White. Now what you need to do is that just come to opacity. Reduce the opacity. Finish. You can see. You can see I've reduced it. Finish opacity. Then come down. Come back to stroke. Increase stroke a bit, and come back. Come down. Come down to this true color. This I want to use white. You can see. We now come here to stroke width. You know it's on five already. To stroke width to increase it or to decrease it based on how you want it. If you are true with this, just come up. Just you don't have much to do anymore. You know it's it's showing like kind of um uh, um kind of um um the edge that is very sharp. But you want it to be a rounded one. You can just come to radius. You can see it's adjusting. You can see a uh hair. -huh. So that's how it works. So we are done with it. You can click this. But if, if you still want to edit by this particular shape, you don't want it. Just click on edit beside delete. You can see the three layers. Just click on it. Then you can adjust it. If you don't want this uh this particular frame, then you can go back and increase the opacity again. You can see and click OK. It's back to the normal size. So let's do that. That's how that one operate. So all these arrow, busier, draw, import, sticker. I, I've never used them before. I'm still telling you. And if you see the work that I've done on Pixel Lab, you'll be amazed with it as well. Seriously. So now we are done with that. We are done with that. Seriously. That's just the feature that you need, the important features that you need. So let's say you want to just want to play around with all the features. You can play around with when, when you have the time. Just look at the last arrow. I mean the last corner. Sorry. The right corner, the damp part of it, you see um a stick like a lollipop something. It has a stars um icon. So just click on it. You can see this one's adjustment for the background. You want to work on your background. It's for background. You can see you don't actually need it. When you have the particular background that you're working with, you don't need it. I don't really use them. 
So, um, <clears throat> this is the first part of the lecture. I will be moving to the second part, um, and I'll be sending the I'll be I'll be sending sending in the video for that as well. Thanks for thanks for joining me. I'm Bola Jack Ongbe.